Welcome to 2020 Freaks. We are back in Hollywood. What I'm doing today is I'm going to be asking some U.S. citizens some questions on the U.S. citizenship test. See if they know their stuff. They should, right? We're all American, right? So um, let's see what happens with that. Like the video, share, comment, also subscribe. Um, definitely like it. Definitely share it. I need your help, guys. I'm trying to grow. I'm trying to put out more content, and I can't do it without you guys. So let's see what happens. <laughs> Are you ready to take a quick citizenship test? Why not? I'll, I'll answer what I can. All right, cool. We elect a U.S. senator for how many years? A uh, senator goes every two years, and then they... Yeah, it's every two years, if I'm not mistaken. Senator's six. six. Yeah, I think a representative is two years. What's up, man? What's your name? Noel Landry. All right, cool. You ready for a quick quiz? All right, we elect a U.S. senator for how many years? No... No clue. All right, it's six. We elect a U.S. representative for how many years? Um, I'm going to guess 13. That's two. It's the last one. What does the president's cabinet do? Hmm. Are they in control of the branches? They advise the president. They give him advice. That's it, man. Right, so, are you ready to take a quick citizenship test? Yes. Yeah. Real simple. Okay. One. How many amendments does the Constitution have? Total. Uh, American Constitution. Yes. Of course. <laughs> Any idea? Okay. It, that's fine. It's 27. Here we go. How many amendments does the Constitution have total? Okay, 27. What is the economic system of the United States? I don't know. We're a capitalist society. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What are two rights in the Declaration of Independence? <laughs> I don't know. Life, liberty, pursuit of happiness. Oh. One more. Can I get one more? Okay. What did, what did the Declaration of Independence do? Declare independence. From who? Great Britain. Who? Great Britain. Oh, see? He know. He a citizen. <laughs> I appreciate it. I didn't know. Okay, the House of Representatives has how many members right now? Hey, I don't have that one. All right, well, right now it's 435. Yeah, I don't even know how they come, I don't even know how they come up with that. Yeah. Number. I know the senator did this two per state, but that 435. That's it's the population of each state. So the more they have, the more they can, yeah. What does the president's cabinet do? Um, I mean, it decides all the major decisions for, you know, our country. <laughs> close. It advises him. And then he decides ultimately. But close enough. So what did the Declaration of Independence do? Um, I think it's... Um, um, one moment. What did it do? 1,789, maybe. What did it do? Why did they write it? Uh, Washington, D.C., I don't know. We elect a U.S. representative for how many years? Four. Two. Two, yeah, I think um, Senate. Senate is four. Or six. Send it six. Okay, last one. Um, who vetoes bills? Uh, the president. There you go. That's it. I appreciate it. What's up, man? What's your name? Terry Dub. Nice to meet you. You ready for a quick quiz? Citizenship quiz? Man, I'm not scared of quiz. All right, cool. All right, let's go. What do we call the first ten amendments of the Constitution? Bullshit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Rules that, that the government and people don't follow. Right, right. So, legally, they're called the Bill of Rights. But according to you, we, we don't really have that much rights, right? We don't have, we, yeah, we don't, we don't they, don't, they don't pay attention to those. We have a president in office that he don't follow those rules. I feel, do you, do you think um, any president, it's anyone in office, they pretty much don't respect the Constitution, or is it just this one? I think for the most part, um, I think you have good people in the office, but 
No, it's just I mean, uh, coming from my perspective, I you know, in my community, we don't we don't see the rules work in our favor. Okay, cool. So let's move on. What is an amendment? An amendment is uh, documentation. It's it's a rule. A amendment is like a rule that's set in place in doc in, in in document in, in documentation. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's when uh, we're adding or changing the Constitution. So, what does the Constitution do? The Constitution basically, um, it tells us as citizens, it, it, it gives us a layout of our rights um, as citizens. Basically, tell us the do's and don'ts of uh, as citizens here in America. Yeah, you got that one right. Let me give you a couple more. I'm going to try to get it a little harder for you because okay. you're getting them. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Why do some states have more representatives than other states? Um, I think they're they're bigger. I mean, for one thing, you have you have the population. I think a lot of it is population uh, that makes a difference in how many people you actually have sitting in the house. See. Yeah, the population. You got that right. I'm trying to get you. <laughs> okay. We'll do two more. We'll do two more. What does the president's cabinet do? Uh, basically the president, the president cabinet, they pretty much, the president really don't have much control in office. The cabinet is there to, for, for guidance. They have people that's in, that's specialists in certain positions. And that's who the president actually goes to, to get his information in, in order to help make the best decisions. But the president really doesn't have much control. He just like to tweet. Yeah. Yeah. They advise the president. You got that right. Let's do one more. Well, I mean, uh, most people get them wrong. Okay, okay. Most people get them wrong. Uh, name three branches of the government. Uh, three branches of the government. We have the U.S. Senate. We have Congress. We have mayoral positions. Uh, just as well with your, your local, your local as well as uh, state government position so senators congressmen mayors well federal government three 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 branches of the federal government do you know three branches of the federal government Ew. i think you might got me on that one <laughs> well you got one of them congress you got congress and then there's um the president the courts the judicial but either way you get an a plus today you're the first one <laughs> 